Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to talk about what I take metal detecting with me, the different backups I use. So let's hear from our sponsor. We'll be right back. Hey kids, we sponsor ourselves. So if you like what I'm doing, hit the thumbs up, which is that like button, subscribe, share the video and all your favorite, you know, social media platforms, and of course leave comments because we'll answer them or somebody, one of my subs will answer them. And if you really love me, use that Amazon link, buy whatever you want, because you're gonna get something great for cheap, and I'm gonna get a small commission, cost you nothing more. So let's get on with it. So what do we do? What do we got here? First off, I have a vacuum cleaner. Why do I need a vacuum cleaner? Because when you go to the beach, things get dirty. Everybody carries their main detector. Okay, so right now, this is my mine lab. Equinox 800 with the Tony Eisenhower headphones. That's my main detector. That's the extreme scoop that I use with a fiberglass shaft. That's my main scoop. This is typically my backup scoop. Yes, I carry a backup scoop because if you've ever busted a handle, it just ruins your day. And then that's my wife's simplex because she was out with me the other day. So I did not actually have a backup detector, but normally I have the whites. Uh, Pulse 2 with me detector but since she was there we had that now her headphones aren't sitting here they're over there we'll go to that later that's some junk I found the other day pennies couple dimes quarters back of a watch it's part of a jewelry stainless steel looking thing I don't know if you can see that but I got me some green crack according to the kids that's actually real THC stuff in there instead of just CBC or whatever they call that stuff. Eh, fishing weight, some junk. Anywho, nothing much. I gotta put some of that in electrolysis. Another thing I have is a four-wheel drive. Now I know everybody can't afford a four-wheel drive. This one I bought really cheap, used, even though it looks brand new with the sticker still on it. I lucked out, but I looked for a long time. But I go on the beach. I mean, if if you're going to go on the beach and do relic hunting, I really suggest you get a four-wheel drive, not an all-wheel. However, you know, if you're on harder packed beaches like Augustine, Daytona, you can get a four, you know, an all-wheel drive. You know, I'm not going mountain climbing with this thing. This is probably the cheaper of the Jeeps. It doesn't have that much clearance, but it will go in four-wheel drive and get me where I got to go. So we got detectors, we got backup detectors, we got backup scoops, three or four beach towels. I also have floor mats. The reason why I have floor mats is because they hold a lot of dirt. I got two pair of those booties in case one gets sucked off and I can't wear them. I have an extra pair. I have a gallon of water for the dog and I usually over in that little floor pan I have a gallon of water for me. I have a little flannel shirt just in case if I get chilly because I'm old. I'm coming around here. Now these boxes are usually up there and everything is in there because the dog, this is the dog area, but I was vacuuming it out. I have my GoPro camera there, but I really don't shoot much of my hunts. Kind of weird old school that way that I don't talk about everything we find. This is the set of headphones for my wife's detector, her charging cable, and her stuff. Okay, this is a pouch for her. This is actually a backup pouch. She has another one just like this. Okay. Uh, sunscreen I got 50 for me 30 for here bug juice which I hardly ever use but she uses it and friends use it the sling thingy and whichever detector I'm taking this is the counterbalance because I was in the water uh, yesterday so I took that off for the mine lab for that Steve's rod I already did a video you can watch so I keep you know the extra battery the little car charger the wall charger you know, the extra cables just in case I have to stop somewhere. Uh, extra thing for the arm. That's the that's the dock cover that I never use. Knee pads in case if I decide to go on land and I want to dig around because I'm old. Uh, that's the 10 inch coil or whatever the standard coil is. That's the extra headphones that came with the mine lab in case if I need if something happens to my headphones. That's a regular digging pouch for the ground, you know, with the shovel and the you know, the standard shovel and the uh, pin pointer. That's a Garrett, carrot, whatever they call them. So that's all that kind of stuff that I keep in there. You know, I just like to have some redundancy. And I think that's pretty much about it. 
I would suggest getting floor mats for your car because of sand rock and dirt so it makes it easier to clean out and whatever oh I know what I have I carry a bunch of napkins in here and of course I have dog poop bags over there because I got a dog but I carry extra napkins a lot because I'm always wiping down my screen or something or you know cleaning my hands or cleaning off a find or whatever hand sanitizer what you didn't see in here is because I've been cleaning out and I put away normally I will have a 32 ounce bottle like this one so there's one in that pouch for water and I have another 32 ounce bottle in addition to that gallon jug so I use those to both drink and to rinse stuff off I'm not a real big proponent of scrubbing coins and scratching them you know most of the time the coins are junk it doesn't matter but if you happen to look out and find a key date and you go rubbing that crap off you're gonna you know scratch it all up and a couple scratches can make a key date a couple hundred dollars less in uh, revenue for you and of course a phone so I got a neighbor coming over to say hey and uh, we'll we'll see what's going on